Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video guys to any of you having a Hyundai Sonata. If you guys have a Hyundai Sonata, you are trying to find actually the torque specs for the brake caliper and for the brake caliper bracket mount. Stay with us, we will explain that today. You will need it every time you replace brake pads on your Hyundai Sonata. Now we will demonstrate for this specific model, this specific year, but yours guys, even if it's the same model, same year, things may differ. So always consult with your manual and never quote us on that. Consider this entertaining video and other how-to video, but we will explain what we use on our Hyundai Sonata always again consult with your manual for the specific one so let's explain what we need to do now so this should actually work on Hyundai Sonata generation from year 2010 all the way to year 2015 guys also uh, let me introduce you quick to the channel if you guys uh, need to buy any parts tools anything like that we'll share the links in the description of the video below and you can see where we get all that from for a really good price and quick shipping as well another thing every single car we get at the garage we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos and specifically guys on this Hyundai Sonata we'll have more than 300 videos mechanical videos videos that will be uploaded on the channel you're watching right now and we'll have more than 200 electrical videos about diagnostics fixing electrical components and that will be posted on our second channel electrical car repair live check it out guys everything okay will be shared so we can guys save you as much money as we can all we need in return please subscribe to the channel and like the video so we're in the process of replacing uh, brake pads uh, we are just waiting on parts but we decided quickly guys to show you okay uh, what are actually the torque specs on those and what to expect first we'll start with the two bolts that are actually on the brake caliper mount the one that are okay right there okay i'm trying my best to show you this bolt and the one down there that's where the brake caliper meets the wheel hub according to what we found guys for our specific Sunana it could it should be between 78.5 newton meters and 98.1 newton meters we go about 95 so this is a click type uh, range when we guys reach certain torque it's going to click and it's important to immediately stop because if you put more torque you will over torque them and you can break them so listen now for that torque That's it, we reverse it just a little bit and try it again to see if we retorque them. So, those are great. Now we're going to do the bottom one. When you do the top and the bottom, I'll recommend to test them one more time. Okay, perfect. Check them later, one more time, just in case to make sure it's good. Now we need to find, we need to get the, uh, okay, after retest them. Perfect second round to make sure it's good we're going to install the brake caliper and we're going to use yeah, to actually share the torque specs for the guide bolts on the brake caliper with you as well so now the other bolts that we're talking about okay it's the one right here and the one on the bottom we will not be able to show you this one i cannot get the camera but we'll just show you on one of them okay both of them this one the rod bolt or the guide bolt guys okay it should be according to what we found for our specific vehicle 21.6 newton meters and 31.4 which is quite a bit of a range guys in our case we always go to the higher one make sure it doesn't break crack <laughs> you don't strip your bolts or anything like that so let's see okay if we can come down a little bit you might need to hold it here with a 17 millimeter wrench okay let's explain where because i cannot show okay like that perfect and listen for that torque now okay we have limited room to move here so what we will try we will actually pull the steering wheel a little bit to this way to the right okay so we see if we can get a little bit more room perfect let's try now okay let's hear now not yet almost there okay so listen now that's it guys right there 
you need to do the same thing to the bottom bolt and then retorque both of them at the same time one more time i mean do the bottom one then come back to the top and do the bottom one more time that's what we found for hours never quarters guys always check with your specific service manual hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching and see you next time